Um, so what we're doing here, we're learning a tongue twister in Spanish about Christmas. So I, the way I do it is I play my turn, your turn, and I try to find tongue twisters that have rhythm. If I do find a tongue twister that maybe half of it, I can put some rhythm to it, to a beat, and it doesn't, it's not consistent, I go ahead and change them just for the sake of rhythm and articulations, make sure that we are rolling those R's and whatnot. So I found this one today, and I changed it a little bit. So, and we have fun with it. So I'm going to teach you how I teach it. So I tell the class, all right, my turn, your turn. Ready? Here we go. Arre burrito, arre ya. Arre burrito, arre. Arre burrito, que ya vamos a llegar. Arre burrito, que ya vamos a llegar. Arre al establo donde Jesús está. Arre al establo donde Jesús está. Vamos todos, vamos a celebrar. Vamos todos, vamos a celebrar. After we done that a couple of times, you know, we... I ask them to do it together with me. So I go, okay, here we go. We're going to do it together right now. Uno, dos, tres, go. Arre burrito, arre ya. Arre burrito, que vamos a llegar. Arre al establo donde Jesús está. Vamos todos, vamos a celebrar. And then I said, okay, faster. Here we go. Un, dos, tres, go. Arre burrito, arre ya. Arre burrito, que ya vamos a llegar. Arre al establo donde Jesús está. Vamos todos, vamos a celebrar. So we get as fast as we can and then... Um, if we, if we have any uh, brave students that um, want to get an extra point, we ask them to, or well, I ask them to do it at, at, at a speed that is challenging. Anyway, that's how we do tongue twisters, either on Mondays or Tuesdays, depending on our um, day of the week, whether we have an A day or a B day. It's part of our cultural routine every week. I hope this helps. I'll try to show you a few more that we do like in this fashion. Thank you. Bye-bye.